Hi, I'm Hayam El Sahardi, the social emotional learning consulting teacher for Seattle Public Schools. Today, I'd really like to share with you some thoughts about recognizing and naming your strengths. Increasing your self awareness through focusing on what you're good at and what you're proud of about yourself can be a really great way to support your well being and happiness through this time. Yes, I said it this time. Life kind of feels upside down some days, right? And even though you may know you're not alone, it can still feel that way. And that is normal. One thing you can do to help feel like things are right side up is recalling that you have some amazing abilities and assets to offer yourself and others. These are your strengths and your set is unique to you. Strengths don't even have to be things you love, but things that you're good at. Uh, I used to teach math and what I loved about it was when my students actually said, I hate math. Once in a while, I'd ask if they still hated it and guess what they'd say? Yep, they still hated it. And then I'd ask a simple question. Can you do it though? Yes, right? And now that's a win for me and them. So strengths can be things you're passionate about or even those you're not. But focusing on the ones that connect to what we love is a bit more enjoyable, right? Uh, the other great thing about naming your strengths is that it can pave the way for you to take meaningful action to improve yourself and help those around you. If I asked you right now to name three of your strengths, what would you say? You don't have to answer it right now. And for me, the three that come to mind are, I think I'm pretty funny, I make the best playlists, and I'm a great dog mama to my dog, Addie. Now, maybe more than ever, you might feel like the world could use a little bit of goodness and using your strengths can be a very powerful thing. So for me, simple things. I like to share my playlist and I crack super nerdy jokes over text to my friends and family. Using your strengths to help people doesn't have to be big and can be as easy as the things I share. Let's start simply and look at what you can do from home because that's where most everyone is. I'd like you to pause for just a moment to think about one time in the past few weeks that you felt good about something you did. What was it? Maybe you're the one doing the cooking. Did you send a nice message to a friend or a relative? Did you complete an awesome assignment or maybe you cleaned the house? Whatever it was, have it in your head right now. Now put your right hand on your head where you're storing the thought and then the left on the heart. Now ask yourself, you can close your eyes, how does this make my heart feel? Hopefully it felt good. Now, how did this act connect to one of your strengths? Is it a strength you already had or a new one you just uncovered? Realizing that you can use your strengths to bring positive energy and acts of kindness to others are just a couple of ways that you can utilize and continue to develop them. Thank you for allowing me to enter your life today through your TV, computer, or phone. Remember, naming your strengths and seeing how much beauty and power reside within these is a wonderful thing. Even more powerful is how strengths can be used to help others. Have a great day and be well. And this is my dog, Addie. Take care, everybody.